stay anonymous or how do the hackers they stay anonymous so there is a common misconception a common myth about this because most of the people they think that uh, they will use vpn and then they will stay anonymous which is not the case so uh, there are around 10 to 12 different methods which hackers use to stay anonymous and i will explain them briefly uh, i have also created some sessions technical sessions on them so you guys can go through those videos as well or you can write in comments so first of all they use anonymous email anonymous contact right so there are online services like 10 minutes mail like send sms.co or there is numero so they usually uh, use those email addresses which are disposable email addresses they are created on a specific domain for around 10 minutes some are 20 minutes and then they are disposed of so this is one way they don't use their personal email their personal gmail their hotmail or yahoo so that they stay untraceable because email can also be traced through header inspection i also made a video on email header inspection you guys can watch that one that how an email can be traced that from which server is it started from where it got relayed and finally how it got reached now all the routing information is there you can right click on an email and on um, inspection copy the header go online there are some tools or you can make your own tool to find it right so this is first method that they use anonymous contact numbers the second one their main preference is to use untraceable internet source means an internet source which is not traceable which does not have logging for example coffee shops for example they use like uh, internet cafes and they use airports they use hospitals wherever public wi-fi is available but usually they try to avoid those places where we have uh, security cameras where there are logging systems where there are active firewalls so that their activities are not logged right so this is the second method the third method they use anonymous operating system they don't use windows 10 they don't use windows 7 like you so they use usually linux especially the linux versions which have been prepared from security point of view uh, for example kali linux is one of the famous operating systems there is parrot operating system which is also based on debian they also use um, honix they also use tails operating system so there are so many different operating systems which they use instead of windows because window has not been built from that perspective from anonymity or privacy perspective even it collects your data and send to their server so that they can show you advertisement based on your interest then the fourth method is they avoid google search engine and they use other search engines like DuckDuckGo or start page or some other like that right because google saves your tracking history sometime you might have observed that you search something on google and after five minutes you are seeing the advertisement about that you searched about samsung galaxy phone s20 s10 and then after five minutes on your browser somewhere you start seeing advertisement about them why because google collects your data it's not free it looks like free but there is nothing free in the world so they collect your data and then they show you the advertisement based on your interest and they get the money from advertisers this is how the whole google business runs this is how facebook runs then they change their mac addresses number five so first thing if you want to do the hacking from your machine from this computer for example right so the first thing is to change its identity like you have an identity card you have your passport your national id card similarly a laptop also has an identity the laptop has an identity which is called mac address right media access control address which is 48 bits you can go to ip config slash all you will find that so if you change you spoof it means you change it you modify make it something fake then no you are less traceable right although not 100 percent there are so many online tools there is technetium the most famous i also made a mac changer in in uh, python recently so you guys can also watch that video how to change the mac address 
and you can make your own tool so don't depend on other people's tool because the thing is you will be limited then and you don't have the full idea recently i made a software which is malware so i coded the malware myself instead of making it through metasploit because if you make through metasploit you don't know what has happened a lot in the background so if you try to make yourself recently i made so my vision was improved similarly I have been using Nmap for years and years, but I never, I know how it worked. It sent probes, receives TCP requests, and receive responses, and then makes the analysis. But until you make yourself an Nmap, an analyzer, a scanner, then the vision which you will get is unimaginable. So try to make your own tools, right? So especially this Mac changer, you can search in Google, or you can go to my video, you can see that how to make a Mac changer in Python. There is a pre-default uh, tool which comes with Kali Linux. You can also use that Mac changer. It's just one command. So this was the fifth one. They changed their Mac addresses. The sixth one is that they use VPN. So now you can see in my list, the VPN is coming on number six. While so many people, they think that VPN is the only thing which keeps us anonymous, which is not the case, right? So they use VPN. So you guys can use Proton VPN. You can use Hotspot Shield. So using VPN, using Tor browser itself is not illegal. Although in some countries like Dubai, in UAE, they have made even VPN itself illegal, which is, you know, um, in other countries, it's not like that. So using VPN or Tor browser is not illegal, but using it for wrong purposes is illegal, right? So VPN, you can use Proton VPN, Hotspot Shield VPN. Proton VPN is free. Uh, it needs a little bit of technical skills to get configured, but Hotspot's, Hotspot Shield is the most favorite. You guys can just download and start using it. But um, the mobile version, uh, this one, it gives you around unlimited browsing data, but then it shows you so many advertisements. On desktop, it gives you 500 MB daily which is very less you know you open three four websites you are finished so proton is best these days it's working correctly you guys can try that one right so that was number six vpn number seven is proxy so they use proxy or proxy chains proxy is something like if you want if a wants to send some data to uh, let's say a wants to send some data to b so the request from A will go to B, B will send the request to C, C will send the request to D. So your data is relayed and the answer will also come in relays. This is called proxy chain. While a single proxy means that there is somebody in between. So you want to send from A to B, the data will be sent from. So the final source will think that, okay, the request is not coming from you. The request is coming actually from this person, right? So this is called proxy and once you have multiple proxies, it is called a proxy chain. Kali Linux comes pre-default with proxy chains. You just have to go to the configuration file and make, make some changes. Choose your proxy type, whether strict chain, whether you want dynamic chain or whichever, and then add your local IP address with SOX 5 protocol because SOX 4 is old. So this is number seven. They use proxy or proxy chains. There are so many online free proxies. You guys can go online search for free proxies and you can use any of them then they also use tor browser which is number eight so it is not the first one you can see Num it comes in my list on number eight they use tor browser tor is also same like proxy it has its own mechanisms you can download you can install the tor browser right the onion router tor is the onion router so it does same thing it has so big network of or nodes once you open like google.com the request does not go directly to google server it goes to a third server second server another tor node another another and finally it reaches to destination then the destination replies it comes to someone else another one another so the paths are chosen dynamically but there is a small vulnerability which is end end node you know and tor node if that one is compromised which is a common practice these days then your data is leaked because the last hop has unencrypted data i also made a detailed video on tor browser and onion routing you guys can go and onion websites deep web dark web you guys can browse through so that is number eight now 
Number nine is you have to disable all the tracking and telemetry services in your operating system. Go to Windows, disable the telemetry and tracking services. Even if you have to use Windows, if you have to use Linux, then also turn off everything. The last one is number 10. So number 10 is disabling all tracking and telemetry services in your browser. So turn off the JavaScript. They turn off the JavaScript, they turn off all extra scripts, all the plugins, they block the cookies and then they keep on deleting their history as well if they have to use Chrome or any other browser. So total these are 10 points which I made for you guys which hackers use to stay anonymous. So stop thinking that you will use VPN and you are anonymous. Which VPN should I use? How to stay anonymous? So it's a big big thing. It's not a one point agenda. Right. So first one, they use anonymous contacts, emails, phone numbers, SMS, OTP, all these kind of services. They use disposable contacts, disposable email address. They don't have a permanent email. Second thing, they use untraceable internet source. Third thing, they use anonymous operating system. Fourth thing, they avoid Google. They use DuckDuckGo or start page. Fifth thing, they change their MAC addresses. Number six is they use VPN. Number seven, they use proxy or proxy change. Number eight, they use Tor browser. Number nine, they disable the tracking and telemetry services in the operating system. Number 10, they disable all telemetry and tracking services in their operating system like JavaScript, like blocking the cookies and all of that. So these are 10 points. Now, if you have any questions, uh, you guys can ask in the comment. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.